Today we're going to have a look at something a little bit different. We're going to have a look at how to use ArchiCAD for 2D drafting. Why? Because I'm teaching a 2D CAD course or unit subject and although ArchiCAD of course is designed really for 3D or BIM and we have our 3D tools, we can also of course use ArchiCAD for 2D drafting, something just like AutoCAD. So how might we go about that? Firstly, what are we drafting? So I've got an example here. This is from, I'm going to open this up. This is from uh, the YourGov, sorry, YourHome.gov website. The Australian government has produced these. Uh, it's ma mainly, mainly based around sustainability and, and good building design practices, but they've got some useful information here that we can use. Now, this is a 12-page document, PDF, uh, and this particular model is called the Two Bedroom Plus Study. Uh, we want to use at the moment plan number three or page number three. This is an A1 drawing I believe and so if you print this at A3 it's going to be very very small. You can see already here you can't see those dimensions unless I zoom in. So we're going to drag and drop this into ArchiCAD. So how do we do that? I've already done one here but I'll just delete that and we can redo that now. I'm going to make sure that currently I've 1 to 100 scale there because if we look at this we also see that this also has 1 to 100 so effectively if we want to drag and drop a PDF with vector information and bring it into scale we have to use the same scale as what we're already using. Now I don't want to put this onto the floor plan. I could put this onto the floor plan but because it's 2D I want to keep it separated from the rest of my model. So I'm going to create a new independent worksheet and I'm going to call this plan ref reference. Create. Now I'm ready. 1 to 100. So to drag and drop this, it's just that. Don't open the file, just, op uh, just drag the file itself. And then once we drag it in, it's going to ask us which page we want. Because it's a multi-page document, it doesn't know which one we want to do without us telling them. So we need to do page three. We see that this has brought it in as a single figure. And if I zoom in, it looks a little bit blurry at first, but once I zoom in and zoom in and zoom in, we see that it actually always clears up. Why? Because this is based on a PDF of vector files. So it's based on drawings that someone else has created. And from a, a CAD program just like ArchiCAD, or maybe even ArchiCAD, they've produced these drawings. So what this allows us to do, apart from being able to see the drawing, we could of course get a line here. We could use the measuring tool, but I just like using the line. Hover over one of these dimensions, and we see that that's, this is roughly, or exactly, 3,600. So we brought it into scale by using the scale reference and because the document was saved to scale. Now to interact with this, if I was to try to draw over it, we see that my cursor never changes to a, a cross or a tick or anything like that. So it's not identifying the vectors. It's not identifying the lines and the text. In order for it to do that, I need to explode the file. How do I do that? I select, right click, explode into current view. I can choose to keep the original or I can delete the original. So keep the PDF or delete the PDF. I can also choose whether I want to use the uh, drawing layers or import embedded layers and I can do that for all three of these. I can choose to have different colored pens or use override pens to keep them all the same and same with the text. I'm not going to worry about any of those and I don't want to keep the original in this instance. So once it's exploded, that's what it's doing right now. If I was to select it, we see that it's going to select a whole lot of little lines. Now one of the awkward things about the way it explodes, if if it was a, like, sorry, let's just suspend this group at the moment. If this was a dashed line, it's changed from one dashed line or a dashed polyline into lots of individual lines. It's also taken text and turned it into polylines. Now, that's based on how it was created uh, as a PDF, 
and the program that it was created out of. Sometimes that would import as a piece of text, sometimes it would import as um, a polyline or lines or arcs or anything like that. So this is really useful. Why? Because like I was saying before, when I hover over this now, I can actually click on any one of these elements. And if I wanted to, I could select these lines, I could use these lines, but because it's been broken down into its most basic elements, there's no hatches left. Instead of this brick wall being a hatch, it's now lots of little lines. It's not really useful for what we want to do. So I don't want to use this information, but I'm going to use it as a trace reference. So to use this as a trace reference, in my worksheet, I'm going to set new independent worksheet. And I'm going to call this one plan overlay. Now what I'm going to try to do here is right click on my plan reference and say show as trace reference. And now we'll see that the plan that we were just looking at appears and it's sort of a, a, a mustardy color, a tan color in the background. Now what this means is we can't grab it. This is called our trace reference. It used to be called ghost in older versions of Archicad. It means I can't grab it, I can't edit it, but I can use it as a reference. So again, when I hover over, my cursor changes. So I could actually click a reference, click a reference. I didn't do that well. Let's try that again. Click. Changes to a black pen. Click. And we know we've clicked in exactly the right place. Now, I can't comment on the absolute accuracy of all of these dimensions in relationship to all of these lines. Uh, I just don't know how well the file has been made. Now, if I was doing this in ARCHICAD in order to be fast, I would not be using the worksheets because I would be wanting to use the design tools. You see, when we're in worksheets, we don't have the option of using our design tools, which is partly why I've suggested that you do that for now because what I'm trying to teach at the moment is just how to use 2D drafting methods just like we would in AutoCAD. And we're going to trace, but ideally, again, that would be faster. What I want you to do is do it slightly slower again because rather than just tracing, I actually want you to try to practice drawing based on using a dimension, a figured number. So to start this now, uh, I'm just going to draw a couple of lines and then I'm going to go to uh, a break and then we'll have another video and come back to this because I don't want this video to go on for too long. So to trace this, what do we do? I'm just going to use pen 1. It's black. It's easier to see. I'm going to leave my background as this tanny yellow color. I could change it if I wanted to, but it's fine for now. I'm going to click when I get that tick. That tells me that I've got on an edge. And rather than zooming in, I could click and just hope that this is a good number and hope that this is a good angle. We see that that's currently angle zero, so that's good for the angle, but the number is weird, 8488. That's not a good number. It's not a real number that we'd want to be basing a brick length off, for instance. So 8490 sounds a lot better. So while we had it to scale, at least we thought we did, it looks like it's slightly out. So before I do anything else, I'm going to try to resize it. Now, I'm going to try to resize one of those dimensions, but what we're going to find is there's possibly other inconsistencies. So again, I don't know how this file was made. I can't be assured of its accuracy. When I scale this, how do I do that? I need to make sure that my grouping is suspended. And then the long way, edit, reshape, resize. And I want to define graphically. I'll use that particular wall just as a reference, 8490, click on that point as a reference, click on this point as a reference, 8490, enter. Now that's good, so we've resized that, that's now to scale. How do I check it? I'll go back to my reference just so you can see uh, what's happening. Now that updated, of course, the reference. If I measure this line, which is the dimension, we see that that's 8490, so that's good. Let's go measure some other references to see if they work. So up the top we have uh, 3600, and when I hover over that, it actually says 3, 
6.03. So that would suggest that maybe we've made it slightly too big. Now let's measure the next one. This also says 3.600, but when we measure it, it says 3.599. So again, I don't know how this was created. If this was created in ARCHICAD, hopefully that never would have happened. So obviously, uh, someone's just typed in a number rather than it being an auto dimension which means we can't be assured of the accuracy of this. So what I would really like you to do when drawing this is to use the figured dimensions only. So to redraw this, but only using the dimensions, not just tracing the length of the building. That's going to make it a little bit trickier because our tendency will be just to trace the length of the building, but that's not going to give us the result that we're after. So that's the end of this video. Uh, and then in the next video, I'm going to show you how we're going to do that. We're going to trace this building, at least the envelope of this building. I don't want to take all day to do this. 2D is slow enough as it is, so we're going to try to make it a bit faster. So watch the next video to see how I go about it.